From the beginning, we are very firm that the international mechanism is the only way out. We do not have any faith on the Sri Lankan government uh, domestic mechanism or on the Sri Lankan government's internal investigation or however you call. Because Sri Lanka do not have any uh, constitutional basis to investigate on the war crimes or crimes against humanity or the genocide. Sri Lanka never ever will investigate a genocidal uh, problem in Sri Lanka. So definitely you know, when we are talking about um, international investigation, this is not only we are discussing about uh, the accountability or at the same time definitely we hope uh, this whole process will open a uh, will open a door to resolve the Tamil national issue as such. If the Sri Lankan government is going to investigate these matters locally, then what will happen to fool the international community? They might punish one or two army soldiers and they will close the matter. And within a couple of years' time, with the president's pardon, even they will be released. So this will take place in Sri Lanka. So I don't think Sri Lankan mindset is changed. Of course, the regime is changed in Sri Lanka. We are not denying that. But the administrative setup is the same old setup. There is no change. The agenda, there is no change. Even the government is not willing to uh, resettle the entire Tamil people in their own land. When they don't have an uh, idea like that. So how can we say that domestic mechanism will address uh, the entire political dynamism as such? So in that situation, EPRLF is very clear. From the beginning, we are very clear. Uh, we want to have an international probe. Uh, we want to have an international investigation. So that uh, at least the international community, they will come to know why all these things were happened, how all these things were happened, how the culprits can be punished, how the people can get remedy, how they can resolve this problem. So all these things will come out if there is an international inquiry or the international mechanism only. So we should not bluff these things. We must be very clear on this matter and the EPR level is very clear on this matter. I think first and foremost, the people who are within the IAK, Ilangi Tamil Secretary, first they must uh, insist to their party leadership that how these things must be take forward. Whether as you said, there are several people within the ITAK, they, they, are, they are against the domestic mechanism. They want to have the international mechanism. If they are very much, uh, they, 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 they are, if they are accepting that, uh, if, if they believe that the uh, international mechanism is the only way, then they must insist to the leadership because there are parliamentarians they are, they are giving reports to the media definitely you know they must be capable enough to insist these things to their leadership first likewise the provincial council members who are talking about the international investigation not to media but they must insist to the leadership as such so if that comes definitely everybody can work together so there is no, no question about it. So here also what we are saying, you know, the, the ITAK, rank and file members, parliamentarians, provincial councillors, definitely if they are having a different view other than the party leadership, then they must tell the party leadership, look, you are going in a different direction. This is not, no, we are, but this is not, we told our uh, people during the election time. We promised the people that we will go for an international investigation and they must ask them why you are doing like this. So first and foremost, I think before we take them with us, they must insist their leadership and see whether they could change their leadership. So otherwise, you know, uh, there's no point. Or if they could not change their leadership, then after that they can decide how they are going to work whether with their leadership or without their leadership, that they have to decide. In the TNA, we are the member, member parties of the TNA. Uh, that's what we are highlighting uh, in our report. 
so we are calling the uh, high commissioner uh, united nation human rights high commissioner we are calling to at least take some steps uh, towards this matter through this letter uh, we are calling the united nation high commissioner uh, to probe whether uh, they can have they can send this first of all whether they can send this report uh, to the icc through the security council uh, if they could do that that may be the best option and uh, if the security council if they could send that report uh, to the icc international criminal court that may be the first option if that is not possible then the united nation can see other options how to organize some uh, proper mechanism uh, to address the accountability in sri lanka that is another option the third option actually uh, the united nations can organize an international tribunal on sri lanka to investigate these matters earlier also some tribunal were organized against some of the countries who were who were badly you know having these war crimes and things like that there were earlier there were reports like that so the the same procedure can be followed as far as the sri lankan government is concerned